perfect fighting unit to me is a, is a pack of wolves, you know. It's lines like that that get you hyped up, fired up, and excited about Jim Harbaugh. And then there's lines like this. Gobble, gobble, turkey. You know? Where, where's fight. gobble, gobble, turkey? Just gobble, 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 turkey from jive turkey gobblers, you know? It's uh... That make you question, why is this man so weird and how is he successful as a head coach? If worms had machine guns, then birds wouldn't be scared of him. And while every NFL team is looking for the dude, the dude that is him, the Chargers zigged and went for Jim. He is Jim, he is Jimothy. Jim Harbaugh is fresh off a national championship win in Michigan. He led the Wolverines to the promised land and then abandoned them. Now he joins the team that God abandoned, the Los Angeles Chargers. Now is this hiring as big of a slam dunk as most people believe? Or did Jim Harbaugh just stick his finger into the light socket that is the Chargers curse? Is he doomed to become the pinnacle of the Chargers winning another offseason with the exact same results? Or will he become the first coach in NFL history to rise above Chargering. Today, I'll do my best to answer that. Uh, regardless, this may be the earliest the Chargers have won the offseason Super Bowl. So congrats and get ready to see this face every time the Chargers are on third down. No, no, this, this face. Sometimes people that are standing on third base think they hit a triple, you know, but they didn't. That's good sports. Hey, subscribe to this YouTube channel. We're 45,000 subscribers away from 600. Think we can do that in one day? Today's episode is sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. Check it out. Underdog has a Christian McCaffrey special this week. He's got a 0.5 yard gimme pick if you enter a pick'ems contest. To take advantage of that, use my code that's good when you sign up or my link below. Now CMC is probably the hottest fantasy player heading into the championship round. And don't forget variations of the pick'em games are now available in all of the states you see here. I've also created created uh, a few private drafts linked below if you want to play against me. These are small, three to four person drafts, so you have a good chance at winning. In fact, I think I lost all of my private drafts last week. The draft starts uh, as soon as the league fills up. So again, sign up with my link below and my code, that's good. Make your first deposit and underdog will match you up to $100. Code, that's good. Link below, sign up now. As long as Justin Herbert thrives under a coaching style that can be labeled as physically abusive, he's primed to have the best season of his career. And after seeing how handsy Harbaugh is, Deshaun Watson has asked to be traded to the Chargers as well. <laughs> All kidding aside, Harbaugh will attack every day in LA with enthusiasm unknown to mankind. NFL officials better get used to seeing this face during the game, Harbaugh is labeled as the ultimate quarterback whisperer, except I don't think he's a man that's actually capable of whispering. He is a librarian's worst nightmare. Who's got it better than us? Who's got it better than us? He's going forward! He went forward! When Harbaugh went to San Francisco to coach the Niners back in 2011, a lot of younger NFL fans don't realize that Alex Smith was not the quarterback we know him as today. Smith was the number one pick of the 2005 draft. Famously, two dozen picks ahead of Aaron Rodgers. And through his first six seasons, he was the definition of mediocrity. When he wasn't hurt, he was putting up very bland numbers. If Smith's career took place in the 2020s rather than the 2000s, the 49ers would have moved on after his third season when he threw two touchdowns in seven games. 
Jim Harbaugh took over and built a powerhouse rushing attack around Alex Smith that allowed the seventh-year quarterback to play within his limitations as a passer. He only threw for 17 touchdowns and 3,100 yards, but he had the lowest interception percentage in the NFL, and when the pressure was on, he led five game-winning drives plus two insane drives to beat the Saints in the divisional round. And Harbaugh kind of just did the same thing with fucking J.J. McCarthy, who had four picks in 2023 and five in 2022. Now, when Harbaugh made the switch from Alex Smith to Colin Kaepernick in year two, it was the right move for the team and gave the 49ers another gear on offense that got them to the brink of a Super Bowl win. Kaepernick played by far his best football with Harbaugh. Before the benching, Smith regained his confidence and carried it over to Kansas City. So essentially Harbaugh saved Alex Smith's career and he helped launch Kaepernick's. But we have to mention Andrew Luck, who ascended to the status of best quarterback prospect since John Elway. And he did that under the tutelage of Harbaugh at Stanford. And just recently, again, Harbaugh made life really easy on J.J. McCarthy at Michigan, supporting him with a dominant defense and elite running game. And now we're talking about McCarthy as a potential first round pick, which is a crazy thing to be saying about a guy who passed very, very rarely at the college level. Guess what though? That shit scares me as a Broncos fan, okay? Looking at the Chargers. Justin Herbert has always been a quarterback who's been just a rung below elite status, all the arm talent, but before his season ending injury in 2023, the Chargers held him back in a lot of ways with the 27th rushing offense. That's going to get better with or without Austin Eckler. Herbert will be asked to shoulder less of the burden on offense, and he's the most talented quarterback Harbaugh will have coached since Andrew luck. I compare this to John Elway getting Mike Shanahan as his head coach, a guy who could get the best out of everyone around Elway instead of asking his quarterback to carry the team. Except Harbaugh is getting Justin Herbert in his prime and not at the end of his career. Now, we've known that Brandon Staley would be out as head coach for the Chargers after this season for quite some time. Jim Harbaugh felt like a long shot that got more and more real as each day passed once the regular season concluded. With Harbaugh comes a complete overhaul of the coaching staff for the Chargers, and the interesting nugget that we learned today was that the Chargers are allowing offensive coordinator Kellen Moore to interview with other teams. He'll be talking to the Eagles and the Browns, and remember, Moore was brought in to save Justin Herbert as well, after Joe Lombardi was scapegoated as the problem with LA's offense. But I think you can only do so much as a coordinator if you don't have the right head coach. We're assuming Harbaugh is the right head coach here. It's also hard to evaluate Kellen Moore since Justin Herbert got injured uh, this season and that the Cowboys offense was better without him even though their season ended a little bit sooner. That leaves a big hole at offensive coordinator to fill if Kellen Moore leaves. Uh, who Harbaugh brings in for that role and defensive coordinator will be key to his success. Sir Andrew said, I'm a little hurt but not slain. I'll lay down and bleed a while, and then I'll rise to fight again. For all of his success developing QB talent, Harbaugh has never been a head coach that calls the plays. So those two roles under him will be crucial, and there's already been a little bit of, of mention of Greg Roman, who Harbaugh worked with in San Francisco. I don't know if that's the right fit with Justin Herbert, but we'll see. I don't wanna guess about something I don't know yet. Instead, I wanna ask, why do people say that Jim Harbaugh is weird? Just little chicks. Your kids. Well, for me, it's this photo from 2016 where he was captured enjoying a steak at a, a nice steakhouse while also consuming a glass of milk. To me, that's not weird. That's some serial killer type shit. Jim Harbaugh is also super pro-life, to which former Chargers quarterback Philip Rivers said, the frick you are. What do you have, four kids, Jim? I got 10 kids. How does that make you pro-life? What day she's most fertile, what day she's not fertile, so therefore you can together either really try to have a child or really not. But mainly, he's a guy who has a vision. And if you get in the way of that vision, he will be hard to work with, or he'll just fucking leave. <laughs> Now, I don't foresee that happening with the Chargers. Whoever they hire, and it could be Brandon Brown, assistant GM with the Giants, 
as their GM, that man will be approved if not handpicked by Jim Harbaugh. Now, one of the big issues in San Francisco for Harbaugh was his relationship with the team owner and GM at the time, Trent Baki. That shouldn't be a problem with the Chargers. And for as much shit as we have given Chargers team owner, rightfully so, Spanos over the years, he appears to be ready to not just spend the money on a guy like Harbaugh, but give him the keys to the electric car. The Chargers are currently 44 million over the cap right now, which is a weird spot to be in with the team that entered 2023 as the sixth youngest team in the league. Their top four cap hits go to guys like Khalil Mack, Joey Bosa, Keenan Allen, and the often injured Mike Williams. Now three of those guys are heading into out years in their contracts. So how the Chargers navigate this off season will be very interesting. And I see a fat trimming scenario here for the Chargers and their roster. The advantage of bringing in a coach coming from college, and we saw this with Pete Carroll when he joined the Seahawks, is that they have a great read on college talent. To me, it makes me believe they're about to have two stellar drafts. And with the luxury of picking at number five without needing a QB, LA can add high-end talent through the draft at pretty much any position they want and become dangerous quickly. If, and only if, they ground their wires and avoid chargering. The perfect fighting unit to me is a, is a pack of wolves. No contraception. For me to answer the million dollar question, can Jim Harbaugh end the chargering? You must understand what chargering really is. The word chargering is not real, just like the Chargers Super Bowl rings. Essentially, the word means that no matter what the Chargers do, especially in the offseason, they're going to get the same results on the football field, which is underachieving. Many NFL teams suck every year, but the Chargers do something very special. They get everyone excited about their team and then miss the playoffs. And if they do get to the playoffs, they blow a 27 to zero lead and lose, or Phillip Rivers tears his ACL, or they fumble away game ceiling intercept. For the Chargers, it started all the way back in the 70s with Hall of Fame quarterback Dan Fouts. It's been a long fight. It's been a long fight and I just had to have a warrior spirit and that's all, so I'm just who eerily played for the Oregon Ducks, just like Justin Herbert. In 1978, a struggling Fouts was saved by a new head coach in Don Coriel, who with Dan's arm attacked opposing defenses through the air with what became known as Air Coriel. Fouts led the NFL in passing yards for four straight seasons with the help of Hall of Fame tight end Kellen Winslow, AKA the OG Philip Rivers and Antonio Gates. Fouts and Winslow got the Chargers to the AFC Championship twice. And like Dan Marino and Jim Kelly and Phillip Rivers, Fouts is known as one of the great QBs to never win a Super Bowl. Now I say all of that to let the average fan know the Chargers have been chargering really since 1978. To make shit even more bizarre, the one time the Chargers did make the Super Bowl came at the conclusion of the 1995 season. When they were led by a QB, who will never be considered for the Hall of Fame in Stan Humphreys. They of course got destroyed by the 49ers in that Super Bowl, something I actually sympathize <laughs> with. Uh, you probably know that the 2004 Chargers drafted Eli Manning. That's right, they had the number one overall pick and Eli Manning, knowing that the Chargers would charger away his career, refused to play for them. Thus forcing a scenario I wish we still saw where the Chargers drafted him and then traded him to New York after the Giants drafted Phillip Rivers at pick number four. Also keep in mind, the Chargers did this while they had a young undersized quarterback in Drew Brees on their roster who they drafted in the year 2001. After that, the chargering really kicks in. I did a video about the 2006 Chargers a year ago to the day, please watch that next. The greatest team to never win a playoff game, the 2010 Chargers had the number one offense and the number one defense in the NFL and didn't even make the playoffs. And just like Dan Fouts before him, Phillip Rivers was great. And like Phillip Rivers before him, Justin Herbert is great. Phillip Rivers will enter the Hall of Fame 
Uh, so the question is, can Jim Harbaugh turn Justin Herbert into the first Chargers Hall of Fame QB to also win a Super Bowl? He got the 49ers there with Kaepernick, so anything is possible. But if he doesn't, and Stan Humphreys remains the only Chargers QB to start in the big game for them, Chargering will prove to be bigger than any one man and stronger than ever. And when you really think about chargering, you think about the fact that Drew Brees, a man they had on their roster, won a Super Bowl for a different team, and the guy they drafted, Eli Manning, won two Super Bowls for a different team. And I will say this, and it will probably haunt me, okay? I hope this works out for you, Chargers fans. I really do. Get the Broncos, man. Not when you play the Broncos, of course, but knowing my Broncos are in some form of purgatory until further notice, I want one team in the AFC West to give the Chiefs a run for their money, and the Chargers are the only team with the quarterback to do that, I think. My thing is, I don't want the narrative in 15 years to be the same as it was for Tom Brady and the Patriots. I don't want the AFC West to be the fucking cakewalk every single season for Patrick Mahomes like it was for Tom Brady. So Jim Harbaugh, get weird. From jive turkey gobblers, you know, it's uh... Get real, real fucking weird. Worms, head, machine guns, and... Save Justin Herbert and just slap the shit out of those Chiefs for me, all right? Thanks for watching That's Good Sports, Jim Harbaugh hiring episode. Please subscribe here on YouTube if I haven't repulsed you and made you shit your pants by now.